probably one of my favorite setups to use. It's my punch setup or um, a little bit heavier flipping setup too uh, for me. I live in northern Michigan, so this isn't your typical big heavy meat stick for punching and flipping like most guys use. Um, and I fish from a kayak a lot, so I need a rod with a little bit more give so I can uh, I can absorb the shock when I go down there and grab the fish because I'm not at a, I'm not at a good uh, angle to be able to lift the fish up. The rod I'm using it's a Mega Mega Bass Destroyer X7 at the Destruction. So it's a seven foot ten. I'd say it's a heavy powered rod. It, it says X, so um, I know that's not it doesn't really directly translate to anything, but at least to me, it's kind of its own unique power. Uh, its ratings are quarter ounce to two ounces, uh, twelve to thirty pound line. So most parts of the country, I mean, the people use this as just like a, a brush to, you know, a rod that you can pitch to like, uh, you know, weed lines, uh, maybe some like sparse brush, something like that. But up where I live, vegetation doesn't get that heavy and also the fish aren't that big. So I go a little bit lighter uh, and that way I can use it for different things. Like this rod, I've used it for uh, deeper crankbaits. I've used it for jigs, uh, a little bit long for jigs for me, but the rod worked well, it's balanced enough and it didn't feel terrible. Um, but mainly I use it for punching and then flipping as well. But my other rod, I, had, I think I had, a, I had a Tatula, I remember that, the Tatula punching rod. It's kind of a one trick pony, I could punch with it, it's a little bit stiff for where I live, but I couldn't use it, you know, flipping a spar stuff or I couldn't, say, throw some swim baits or something on it. That's something I do with this rod, it's a little bit more versatile. Also, it has a um, more moderate uh, taper to it too so it keeps the fish pinned up in the weeds a lot better. There we go. Get some. I kind of show you guys that taper. Oh yeah, you can see kind of what I'm talking about. So it starts out like a fast fast rod like that. And then once you have plot so when you're flipping and stuff it's not mushing around. And then when you pull down starts to open up more and more, then it stops. The line I'm using, I'm using 65 pound Power Pro right now. I'm not not really uh, too keen on it, it digs in a lot. It's smooth and it, it uh, pitches nice, but it digs in quite a bit, I noticed, compared to 832 that I've been using. Uh, the reel I'm using it on is the JDM uh, Zillion SV, I mean, so this is an SV version. The Zillion uh, TWS. Uh, difference, it has a little bit different spool than the US one. It's uh, a little bit shallower, it might be just barely lighter too. Uh, I know it has uh, some other features. Obviously, it's green instead of purple, like the US one. See that on there? And then uh, it's, it's just real solid. I know it has. Uh, Aluminum drag star. I don't know what the US one has. I never owned a US one. Something I did here though is I bought a 100 millimeter handle put on here. Give me a little bit more torque. And then um, I put that handle on one of the Steez SVTWs I have. Kind of just trickled it down that way. It's saving me money. I'm not buying a whole new uh, handles. The 9.1 gear ratio I like a lot. It's fast. I think it picks up 40.3 inches per turn. So I can throw, you know, I could pitch a bait and get it back, pitch it out. I mean, it saves, I don't know, maybe a half second for each flip, but think of how many flips you do throughout the day. So it saves you a lot of time that way. And especially for me, if I have a, if I have a fish blow up, this is in, in general, you, you throw it out, let's say if you're using a frog, and then you can hurry up get that frog back after that missed, that missed blow up. Then you can pick up a rod, pitch out there, and then get the fish instead of you know wasting too much time. This is my first year using the rod, and I definitely it's my, been my favorite punching rod so far. Uh, I could definitely see if you live in other areas that of the U.S. that you wouldn't want to use it for punching because it just doesn't have enough backbone for most situations. But for me, it works. So um, it's a little bit later in the year. I'll, I'll have a little bit of time with this reel and rod. So I, last year I was punching into October, which is kind of weird, and the weeds are all dead and stuff. But uh, Try to get a little bit more footage with the rod so you can see the taper and stuff like that. But um, don't forget to subscribe, comment below. I know for me it was it was tough. I was trying to find some 
uh, information on the rod. You know, a lot of people are saying different things about it, but I had to kind of take into account that they probably live in different parts of the U.S. and they're not using it for punching. So I was asking a lot of questions about it, and then, you know, I saw some videos on YouTube, but they weren't really that great of showing me the taper and the power and stuff like that. So kind of kind of gambled with it, and I'm glad I did. 